Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to install mods on SK Launcher. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. So first up, let's go ahead and download a mod. Now for this example, we're going to be using Curse Forge and Optifine. Okay. Now first up in uh, Curse Forge. All right. Just go ahead over to curseforge.com. And once done, go ahead over to Minecraft. Okay. Click on it. It says here, search for Minecraft mods. Let's click on the search bar now. Type in your favorite mod. For example, guns. Hit on enter. Now, for example, we're going to be using this one right here, guns plus. Let's click on download button beside it. Wait for it to load, and here we have the jar file. Okay, I'm going to save it on my desktop right here. Now, once that's done, go ahead over to optifine.net. Again, optifine.net. Okay. Now, if you're wondering why do we need optifine? Well, this one right here will optimize your game, allowing mods to render custom texture. Okay. Now, once you're in here, just go ahead over to downloads. Now, click on show all versions. Just click on it. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and download the latest version right here. The optifine HDU J3 download. I'm going to save it in my desktop as well. It is also a char file. Done. So what we're going to do next is just open up SK Launcher. Okay. Here we have our downloads. Now here on your SK Launcher, just click on the plus sign right here besides installation manager. Click on it. Now in here, go ahead and rename the installation. For example, modded like that. Then go ahead over to forge. Okay. Now, as you might remember, our Optifine right here is 1.21.4. Okay, so we're going to select that in here under version 1.21.4. More options right here. Select your preferred resolution. Click on the drop down, for example, this one. And the maximum memory, it's up to you. Okay, say, for example, I'm going to put in 8 gigs right here. And then I'm going to hit on save. Okay. Once that's done, just click on the three dots, then go ahead and click on open installation directory. Now go ahead and create a mods folder if you don't have one. And if you do have one, just skip this part. Okay. Just rename it mods, hit on enter. Once done, double click on it to open it up. And as you might remember, we have downloaded two files. All right. The guns or the mod itself and the texture processor. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move that in here in the mods folder. Okay. Once that's done, close the folder and just hit on play. That's basically how you do it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.